God be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. When he spoke it's that, not ways to preserve yeah. yourself. It's all looking at ways of how can I get when, to this guy? Spoke, <laughs> how, how can I let this situation be used of God to touch this guy's heart? When he when he spoke that the pilot, he wanted pilot to realize who pilot was subject to. Yeah. And, and so we're gonna we, we we find ourselves in a situation like that. The owners never has to be ours. It should shouldn't be ours. We should never be operating in who we are in ourselves, but who we serve and whose we are. And, and, and always point back to the Father because the Father's already brought, if he's brought us into submission, his task with us and the other person's face is to bring them into that same place. Our job is to witness to the cop. Yeah. If we find ourselves in that position, our job now is, 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 is to listen to God and say, how am I going to get this guy submitted to you? What do you need me to do to bring him into submission to you? And it, it's so when you told like, Pilate that, and said, it's you, it, it's it really like, allowed Pilate to know who he was in reference to God. Right. And, and, and so Pilate thought about that thing afterwards. As a matter of fact, and the scriptures indicate that he pondered it after he went back and walked away from Jesus. So even Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection, now Pilate is now on the hook. Because the man never backed away from the truth. He, he just told him the truth. He didn't exaggerate. He didn't, you know, he just said who he was. And when we stand before a cop, you're still the son of God. He and, and, and You are still the son of God. And what happens in that instance is actually in the hands of your father. It's not in the hands of that cop. Because we can say that if a man can get shot seven times in the back and live through it, obviously he wasn't in control. The cop wasn't in control of that situation. Because yeah. his intent was to kill that guy. Eliminate the threat. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Paul never forgot how Stephen conducted himself and behaved himself. Yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about. He never forgot. And it always stayed with it because he realized, think about this. What would you do if you were a cop in the day when you were unsafe? Let me say this for a second. When you are under the influence of alcohol and you really under the influence, yes, sir. Ain't nobody, you ain't got to tell nobody you are. Everybody can see it. And it's going to affect everything you do from the yes, way sir. you talk from the way you walk to the way you drive to your responses, when you under that influence of that thing, yes, I'm gonna tell you something. It's un it's undeniable Whoa. that that thing got 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 power over you. Wow. So just use that and look at it from if I'm under the influence of him, hey, everything I do, say, speak, act, how, whatever, is undeniable that the influence is gonna be shown. Woo! You you can tell by way of, by way a man walk when he drunk. Yeah, he's not drunk with wine. We're in, in excess. Uh, well, we're, 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 we think about the fact that the young lady, the woman, was in the in the temple praying in the in the private thought she was drunk, but she wasn't drunk. She was operating on the spirit of the holy. Uh, she was operating on the Holy Ghost because she was talking, but something was coming out of her mouth. And he and he asked her why 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 are you drunk this early in the morning? And she let him know, like I'm not drunk. I'm I'm, I'm praying. I'm praying. So sometimes we might misconstrue. You might think I'm afraid of you because I'm not saying anything. No matter, I'm not doing anything. But if, if I let you know why I'm not here, I can, I can articulate you. If the Lord leads me to do that, I can articulate to you why I ain't punching you in the face or why we ain't striving over your gun or whatever, whatever it is. It's not, no, I'm not weak. I'm not, I'm not scared. Come on. Come on. I'm not afraid of you. But the God that I serve, he requires me to do it at this point. Now, if he said, take your head off, I would take your head off. <laughs> but you not take, you take your head off. I mean, what, what did he tell David? David was, David said, How, who is this uncircumcised infidel to become against the armies of God? Who do you think he is? It ain't me. And if you said it earlier, part of this thing, it was the anointing of God that sank that power right of God. Him. Yes, sir. So we're not going out there on our own authority. And, and I pray to God, we never, you know, I, I do pray to God that we don't ever take that on ourselves because we don't have that kind of power. Yeah, yeah let me chime in. Let me chime in about what you said. I think we all got to be really, really careful, though, the, 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 because sometimes what I hear people say in the way that you said what you just said, Elder, is, hey, look, I'm making a choice whether or not to operate in the flesh or to operate in the spirit. Yeah. 
And instead of giving God the glory, what we're doing is giving ourselves the glory. Because see, I'm not taking your face off because I don't want to. I'm, I'm going to make a decision to, to use God. So you're lucky. You see what I'm saying? So we got to be, I, I think this, this, this one fruit of the flesh, you know, or, or excuse me, fruit of the spirit that, that is, is op, you know, we operate in humbleness and meekness. We really, really, really still have to be careful, fellas, because see, I think sometimes, and I feel it in myself, boom, you know, I'm rise up, yeah, you know, I'm a child of God, you know, so yes, I'm, 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 I'm whatever. <laughs> yes, sir. And no, 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 that is not of the spirit. That is not of the spirit because I choose to operate <laughs> according to what I think is God's will at yeah. this moment. Well, the moment, the, first, the moment you say I, uh, you're not in the spirit. Well, mm -hmm. lights go off. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you will well, you always know. have that option. I think yeah. you will always have the option of other, whether you decide to walk out of the spirit, or you decide to walk out of the flesh. The one thing that God has given, I can't. Me, I don't, it's not yeah. moment by moment, though, Elder. I, 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 I think I, I it think goes so. back to straight up. I think it goes back to something that what Bishop said is we got to already be there. See, here's the thing: but we the can't thing. wait until a lot of times. You know, we 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 think you know our talent and skills going to rise up or do whatever, whatever we're doing a moment that a, an op, something comes our way and experience. No, really, we got to be already ready. I agree, it's I agree already got to be that. in us. And I so that, that. Yes. what we think is natural is really supernatural. And well, that is what is operating because my mind doesn't even go there. You know what I mean? And, that, and, and I so, agree with that 100%, but that's okay. still a, a matter of choice. Well, yeah, see, this our is wills, our wills are li literally, and, and it's, it's weird, but it's really true. He's given us sovereign will. We have the ability, we have the right to choose whether we're going to follow him, we're going to walk in the spirit and walk in the flesh. That's a choice. And I agree with you 100%. It's better to practice walking in the spirit than trying to jump in it when you get in a situation that requires that choice to be made. But it's always something that, and I think that he says having their, 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 their senses exercised. And something I can't remember how to exactly goes, but we get opportunities on a day to day basis in, in close confines with our families, with our friends, with the people that we're dealing with every moment so I, to operate. In here, here, I, I look brother, at it. Let me, brother let me, brother let me Jackson, I, I understand what you were saying. Basically, what, what, what Brother Jackson was saying, Elder, is that instead of saying, you know, I choose to walk in the spirit. You know, or you should be glad I choose to walk in the spirit. What you, what should be said is, I praise God for changing me to act accordingly in this situation. So you have to give God the glory for that. And mm -hmm. when you say, uh, you should be glad I'm choosing to walk in the spirit instead of the flesh, then you're giving yourself glory for making that choice. Mm -hmm. Is what Brother Jackson was saying, and also, mm -hmm. also let's look at the, the, the go ahead. Well, I'll go. I'll go show that scripture to go with to finish that scripture up that we we're talking about because in the garden that was an option that was given. That was Peter. He took an option in the flesh, but let's see how Jesus responded to if you don't mind. I just want to show that. Uh, who's reading that anyway? Whether Elder or uh, Brother Addison. Who's reading that? Last one. I read the last one that was up. Okay. That's the rest of it. Go ahead. I read the last one that was up. Do you want me to read this one too? Yeah, that, that's a continuation of it. Okay. Then ask he them again, whom seek ye? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore ye seek me, please go their way. Let them go. That the same go. might be fulfilled which he spake. Of them which thou givest me, have I lost none. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and smote the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Then said Jesus unto Peter, Put up thy sword into the sheep. The cup which my father has given me, shall I not drink it? Amen. Now, see, I think that's what one was the reference to what we just talked about is. Brother Jackson is, yes, you try to do, Peter want to do it in the flesh, right? Jesus responded that, no, I got to do it my way, God's way, mm -hmm. right? I got to drink this cup. Mm -hmm. You doing it using your sword, your flesh, your option, elder, like I said, 
if God tells me to take your head off, I'll take your head off. If God tells me to cut your ear off, I'll cut your ear off. But God is saying that that's not what my will is. Right now. I don't think Peter knew the will that God no. had for Jesus at no. that point. No. Peter was operating out of love for well, Christ. Yeah. And he, he was, was trying to protect him. him. Right. He was trying to protect him fleshly. Flesh. And so exactly. out of that, Peter acted. Yeah. And so again, Jesus had to upbraid him yes. <laughs> by letting That's him know flesh. yeah, exactly. what the spirit was desiring of him. Exactly. What, what God desired. Right. Okay, now, here, here's something for elders. You're talking about this. We, we have to make a choice. I'm going to take you back to something the brother here brought up. Okay. If you're drunk, is your choice oh, yeah. drunk? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, your choice will be drunk. Okay, you have to make a decision about it. No. You made the decision once you decided to get drunk. To get drunk. That was the decision. Once you decided yeah. to get drunk, <laughs> when you don't realize that you were surrendering everything of your being to that drunkenness. Yes, yeah. And so, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You see, when we embrace Christ as Savior, we embrace him. We are deciding to be filled with the Spirit. That when we come to these moments, see, in Christ, the default is always not my will. I agree. I agree 100% with that. Exactly. There's, there's... You really should never even bring up the fact that I got to make a choice. No, I made the choice, but I ain't brave. And, 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 and I guess the problem for me became that I, I read the scripture where it says, and he will rule a nation with a rod of iron. And also reflect on the kind of people that we were in the Old Testament. And I say we were because we were still the body of Christ and still the kingdom of God. David was not cowering against with, with his enemies. And when, when Gideon and the boys went in the battle, it was 300 against them with thousands. And they only two. They didn't even take implements of war because they understood the power of God. So what I was looking at, what I am looking at, have been looking at for a few, few maybe years now, is the fact that the way that the Lord manifests his glory in the earth has changed from time to time. In, in this time, we've been called to submit, but that's in strength, not, not, not in weakness. Not in, 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 the, in the Old Testament, they were called to overcome. They were called to conquer, and that was not in weakness. It was in strength, but it was the strength of God. It was the strength of God that caused them to be successful at warfare. It is the strength of God that causes us to be successful in, in, in compassion. Right. There's never fear. He right. said that right. the fearful would have their part in the lake that burned with fire and brimstone. If right. I'm afraid of anything other than God, I'm going to respond in accordance with what that thing is doing, like Saul did. Yeah, I can't. I can't allow my my activity to be dictated to me by anything outside of Christ. If He says submit, I'm going to submit. And that's you know, that's the strength. You know, Adam, one thing. One thing I thought I was noticing, John. I think, and best you get correct me wrong. That John was showed them that it was not fear. It was not weakness. By showing the power of God in the garden, but also isn't also true is that the by him not crying out during his crucifixion, because he he did not cry out. They beat him, they whipped him, but there's no indication he cried out. Was that also showing the power of God? I think so. Oh, that, that's Johnson. That's my understanding of it. The strength of Christ was was shown in his submission. The, the strength of Christ, it was shown in his turn of the cheek. The strength that Christ showed was the power of God working through him to show compassion. Yeah. And even in the, in the yeah. direst of situations, God should do it. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. It was an empowerment of God and the strength of God to show the love of God to his creation. In order and to I think that's what we've been called to do. Well, I think what you need to understand when you look at Christ on the cross, when you're talking about the point that he does not cry out. Right. He does not beseech the Father for rescue. What that says that is so very relevant to us today. Yes, come on. It says, and it, it, it demonstrates that Jesus was saying, I've never been in this thing for myself. Come on. Amen. I've never been in this thing for something for me. I, I've mm -hmm. always been in this thing so that your will can be done no matter what it costs me. Amen. Come on. Okay. I want you to understand that you don't have, I'm not going to wrestle with you and fight against you on the very thing that you have purposed for the very reason that I've been sent. 
And so Isaiah says, a lamb done before him, she is, he knew what was coming. Come out, come out, come out. He knew the cross. Woo! For the joy set before him, he understood that if I do this, the Woo! father's heart is going to be rejoiced because he'll get that thing that he wants. Come out. Yes. And because I'm here to please him, I'm going to grip my teeth and hold it and shut up and endure. Endure. Yes. 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 We don't want that. Yes. Yes. See, we don't yes. want that. We want somehow to get in a situation. We want God to come in there and kick the door down and go to this tan up stuff. <laughs> well, well I, I think if we look at it, when we address it from the social from a social perspective that we want social justice, that we are, we will inherently do that. But but I think that our vision has got to be eternal. We have to embrace what he he has embraced, and that's the eternal condition of that person's soul, whoever it is that he's given us to witness to. Yeah. And, and I think it, it it may make it easier for us to comply with what he's asking us to do, because Jesus knew why he was being crucified. He was for us. And right. so it is when we stand before a cop, are we aware that the Lord is literally trying to minister to this guy through us, even if it caused us some sacrifice? Come on. Hey, and, well, you know, I also want to show some other power that it was demonstrated, Chris, was first of all, remember uh, Elder when Peter was arrested and was going to be killed the next day, and the angels yeah. released him out of prison? Oh, yeah. When, when, when Paul yeah. is jealous. When Paul and Silas were sitting in the jail and they were just praising God that the, 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 the earth shook and the shackles were taken off of them. And they didn't even come out. They told the man, fear now. Hey, 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 hey. You left that verse out though. They say, in the name of Jesus, <laughs> what? let an earthquake happen. In the name of Jesus, let shackles fall off. See, when you inside of God's will, you ain't got you ain't got to worry about none of that. Come on now. See, gonna, see, we want the control that God has. He said, if you align with me, let Ooh. me be God. I'll do what I need to do. I'm Come faithful. On. That's my job. Just do what I told you to do. There you go. Hey, and that also happened when the, uh, the disciples, the 12 disciples also put in jail by the Sadducees and Pharisees. They went to the prison the next day. They're looking for him. Where they at? Where, where they went to? You remember that, Brother Addison? They were looking for him. And then somebody came in and said, they out there, they are. <laughs> you looking for him. They out in the courtyard. <laughs> yes, sir. Preaching. 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 I, I'm just I, saying. I understand. Uh, that, that makes perfectly good sense. They were under the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, and they did it in accordance with what he led them to do. And that's who we are. I mean, literally through, but we're not doing that because we're afraid. We're doing that because we have empowered by God to accomplish that. Come on. The one thing that we saw, and which is really weird, because they, he pulled him out of jail that time, but when Peter got ready to get crucified, he didn't. He did. I mean, the, 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 the did, disciples right? had, he didn't. He, he let him be crucified. He Ooh. let Stephen be strong. He no, let I, all Peter, the I'm body. Talking. Right. I mean, the right. Lord himself. The right. Lord allows us, there is an appointed time for us to depart right. from this place. Right. And, 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 and as we walk through this life, it's not through a fearful or cowering exactly. kind of position. I mean, <laughs> we are, we got, we, it is important that we know who we are because right. it's going to determine right. how we respond. It's and going to determine what we're going to praise. It's going to determine whether we're going to turn to Pilate and say, please let me go, Mr. Pilate. Right. Or we're going to say, you have no authority for me except to be giving you, and if God lets me die here, then I'm going to die here on his behalf. But there you go. And I think I that to has that. to be, even if we don't vocalize it, it has to be something that's taking place in our own spirit to exactly. really know that nobody has authority in our life other than God. That's why it's called the kingdom of the God. Kingdom yeah. God. Yeah. And then he gives us so, the spirit so, of fear so, and power. So, Go ahead. So in, 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 in Matthews 10 and 28, it says, And fear not them Amen. which kill the body. Come on. But are not Ooh, able right. to kill the soul. Come on, brother. But rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and, and body in Come hell. On. So, so on. Jesus was saying, fear this. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be scared of somebody, be scared of me. <laughs> you, you go. And, and then Chris, are you getting what I'm saying? Because you asked, we're not talking about it last night. Does that give a different perception? Yes, it does. It does. It does give a different perception. If God want to deliver you, he'll deliver you. Deliver you. God, come on, bro. That, that's what I want to make sure. 
and know for those kids and for anybody else in the body of Christ, we are operating under the power and the anointing that removes burdens and destroy yokes. That's who we're supposed to walk in, in the anointing and power of God. I like that one scripture that said, go boldly. You never know what he's going to do. Huh? Yeah. That's it, brother. So yeah, I, bro, I, you know something? There's a scripture that says, I think there's, a scripture that says, <laughs> there's a scripture that says he raises up one people and pulls down another. He pulls down one people, raises up another. When we begin to understand that he is the ultimate, that he is the authority of the universe, he is sovereign over all kings and kingdoms and whatever, then we throw it back in his hands and say, Lord, what do you want to do? Because if God decides that he wants to raise you up, who are you to say that you won't? Come on. We start looking at false humility and stuff and the false humbleness is is garbage. It's BS because if God decides that He wants to make you one thing or another, where does your self righteousness come in and say that I'm not going to do it? It may be that God is choosing the people to raise up to glorify Him. He chose Israel to do that, but Israel cowered at some point. Israel turned to the other gods. Israel feared. The people that were over them, oh, we can't take that land because they biggest giants over there. They make it look like grasshoppers. So they weren't able to inherit. Look at us. Same thing. It had nothing to do with the numbers. It had nothing to do with the armament. He told Israel, don't put your faith in, in, in guns. He and, said that, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Just because we are few in numbers, <laughs> just because we don't have the economic, quote unquote, economic prowess as, as others do, does not mean that our God cannot turn a nation over to us. Come and on, bro. The sons of God. Yes. Well, we have to walk in that truth that there may be some sacrifices made. Some people <laughs> might die even in walking in Christ because he's going to let you. He, he, he's the determiner of whether or not we're going to be a sacrifice or not. But he is always going to win. Yes. That's the one thing I, I, in my own life I have realized that I cannot subdue Jesus. Come on. Come he on. has proven himself a mightier person than me in my own life. You know, so I'm convinced that he's Lord. Come on. And you know what? How can I let a convince me otherwise? And when that scripture elder that says that this no greater love, but I said, did a man did a man lay down his life for his friend? For his friend. So, he so we understand. Yeah. There you go. He's, he's not he's, positioning us to lord over people. Come he's on. Positioning us to edify, to uplift, and to strengthen them in Him. Amen. So even Amen. if he causes you to, to, to rise to that level of, of preeminence or, or, or prominence where you have influence over the lives of 100,000 or a million people, he has not put you there to tell them what to do. Come on. He put you there to edify them in him. And glorify to, him. Uh, glorify him. Glorify him. I, I got this verse I want you to look at. Y'all talking about Jesus and his deal with Paul. Don't you turn to John chapter 18. One second. All right. And this is this is this is this is in line with what we talk about. What God is really trying to do with us. What's that? eighteen, verse number thirty, uh, thirty-one. You see, Jesus never loses sight. Of any of this stuff. It, okay, so in verse 31, it says, Then Pilate said unto them, Take ye him and judge him according to your law. The Jews said, Therefore, the Jews therefore said unto him, It is not lawful for us to put a man to death, that the, that the sayings of Jesus might be fulfilled, which he spake, signifying what death he should die. Uh -huh. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again and called Jesus and said unto him, Now listen carefully. Listen careful. He says, Art thou the king of the Jews? That's the question. Yes, this sir. What Jesus said. This is what Jesus said. <laughs> Jesus answered him, saying, Sayest thou this thing of thyself? Uh -uh. Or did or did others tell thee of me? <laughs> Jesus, Jesus trying to say, Did the spirit of God reveal this to you? <laughs> Say that again. I, I missed it. Say that again. Do you have some life from the Father that lets you know I'm a king? Woo! Or you just go to the told you. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Bro, Jack, you know, 
now he's telling you, even now he's trying to see how to deal with Paul. Is God dealing with him? Is God trying to destroy him? Does he have light that says I'm a king? Or is he just going to be folks say? Woo! That's powerful. And Jesus, Jesus is like, are you listening to what I'm listening to? Are you hearing what I'm hearing? He always is trying to discern. Woo! It is this person, someone that God is dealing with, because no man can come to me except Woo! the Father John. Whoa! It, 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 even, even with his life on the line, he's trying to see what power where you at, man. Woo! Where you at in relationship with God? Is God speaking to you? Do you know? Because you, this thing you're talking about goes to the very heart of the kingdom. Because if you know I'm the real king, Woo! You, ain't, you can know that. Woo! <laughs> Ooh. Is that my father to the king? Come on. Come on. Wow. I don't know if y'all caught that. But hey, hey brother, I said, did you catch that? Yeah. I mean, it's like. I, if you read on down <laughs> in the 37. Look, huh? <laughs> look, yeah, look on down in the 37 where you're still talking to Pilate. Yeah. He says, thou says that I am a king. To this end was I born. He didn't deny it. Uh -huh. And for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth hears my voice. Nice. So he tells him that his kingdom is not of this world in 36, but he does not deny that he, he is the king in 37. Right. And he, he attributes that, the scripture attributes that to him. He says, <laughs> thou sayest that I am a king. Listen up. So at some point, Pilate was being touched. Apparently, Pilate was being touched. He's preaching to Pilate. He realizes Pilate doesn't know that God has chosen him to be the real king. So now he said, okay, now that I know that you you don't know who I am, let me take a few moments right quick to tell you who I am. Woo! <laughs> and then, after he told him who he was, Pilate still asked who he was when he said, what is truth? What yeah. is truth? <laughs> because he is the truth. And the light. Yeah. Woo! A lot going on in that conversation. Woo! There's a lot going on in that conversation. I sincerely pray that we embrace it because that's where we sit right now. That's where we sit right now. We're sitting but right there in that place where Jesus stood before the world system and said, this is who I am. How you on, feel about on. that? Hey, look, he didn't have a problem talking to authority. No, he didn't because he, 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 he did he, 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 Bishop. You know, the scripture say he didn't reveal to the, the preacher of the cross and stuff was not revealed to the wise, but but to the people that was unlearned. Here he's Amen. talking to the wise. To the teachable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, teach, yeah. To, to those who don't think they already know everything. Yeah. <laughs> but he, he is talking to him who think he knows something, right? At that <laughs> point. See, he, I, he, I, he, I, he, I, he was shaking. Paul was a Gentile. So yeah. a Gentile ain't supposed to know. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, he's being compassionate with him because see, he's supposed to know this. But okay, but the scriptures kind of indicate that Pilate was shaken by Jesus. Pilate was not. He didn't. He didn't. It, the Jews had an agenda. Pilate was just there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, and he really yeah. wasn't moved by who Jesus was. He wasn't too sure what was going on with that. And his wife had already told him, "Don't deal with this guy." Yeah. He did because <laughs> yeah. I had some dreams about this fellow, and you really don't want to get caught up in this. <laughs> so. I think Pilate is being exploited. <laughs> Pilate, you know? Pilate is being exploited by the Ex Jews. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. That's why he said he had to wash his hands on that, didn't he? He said, and even Jesus told him in one of the scriptures, he said, it's not you that did this. this the greatest sin is those who yeah. deliver me yeah. to you. So we, uh, it's a foreshadowing of what I think we're going to experience in the not too distant future from now. Just be, just be, just, but like Bishop said, we just keep doing his will. We don't care when and when the, the, the persecution, mm -hmm. the revelation, we don't care tribulation. That's not even our concern. We've been given one direction. Go preach the kingdom of God and all the things pertaining to it, go preach, right? That's our job. But the point I want to make sure we wrap this one up today is, Chris, we are not weak Christians. You are bold Christians. You're confident Christians. You are humble drunk Christians. Drunk huh? Christians. <laughs> drunk you are drunk Christians. in the spirit of the Holy Spirit. Allow the Holy Spirit to guide you just like drunkenness will try to guide you. Amen? Yeah, hey, hey, 
uh, Elder, you want to do the communion for us? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah, everybody got everybody got something ready for communion. Uh, okay. No, I I don't. But go ahead. Okay. Do you have to get that coffee in that in that in that donut? You'd be good to go, right? You got that coffee? <laughs> I'm not. I don't drink enough coffee. He, he drank <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Y'all, you must forgive my Catholic doctrine in, in, indoctrination. My conversation has tends to be consistent and rather re relatively repetitious yeah. and religious to a certain extent. Yeah. So God forgive me. But on the night that he was betrayed, yes, sir. He took bread. Yes, sir. He blessed it. He break it and gave it to his disciples and said, "Take, eat all of you. This is my body, which shall be broken for you." Whenever you do it, do it in remembrance of me. We can break the bread. Break. He gave it to his disciples and they ate. Amen. Amen. And after supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave thanks and praise. He blessed it, gave it to his disciples and said, take, drink, all of you. But this is a cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. Yes. It shall be shared for you and for all men so that sin may be forgiven. Yes, sir. Whenever you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Amen. And so they take it and they drink. And according to my Catholic brothers, and so we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. Amen. Amen. As, as we're equipping the saints, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, who would like to pray us out? Yeah, you know, who would like to pray us out? And I'm, I'm asking either, Bishop, you want to pray us out? Or you want uh, 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 Addison to pray us out? I'm not going to let Addison pray us out. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> equipping <laughs> the saints, brother. We're equipping the saints. Come on now. Amen. <laughs> Let's look to God. Father, we just we just truly, truly thank you for this day. We thank you that we were able to be in fellowship with those of like precious faith. Yes. We thank you for your Holy Spirit being in the midst of us. Lord God, we thank you for the revelation that you have revealed to us. Mm. We pray that it falls on good ground, bring forth yes. fruit in our lives. Mm. Let us not forget what was said here, Lord God, but take it forth out into this world, Lord God, and minister to those that are lost. Mm. We pray for this day, Lord God. Yes that you have made, that we shall continue to be full of joy. Yes. Full of your word. Yes. Drunk in the spirit. Yes. Ready to reveal Jesus Christ to anyone that is desired of him. Yes. That, is in, that is in need. Yes. And we truly give you all the glory and all the praise and all the honor in every area of our lives. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.